Hello, everyone. My name is Lin Meng. Today, I will present to you why I care about tree greening and how urban environment trick trees into thinking spring arrives earlier. I grew up in Northeast China, and spring is my favorite season. Right after the cold of winter, everything is just beginning to wake up and shows its color. The blossom of yellow winter jasmine, pink peach, and white apricot made every day in spring an exciting adventure for me. In 2015, I was in Beijing, a city that is particularly beautiful in the springtime when thousands of cherry trees bloom. My friends and I had planned to go see the cherry blossom in the Central Park. Unexpectedly, a freezing event occurred the day before we went, and all we could see the next day was flowers frozen in ice and a lot of dead flowers. This is not accidental event. Climate warming makes trees confused and places them at risk. This inspired me to think, what affects the timing of tree greening in cities? It's the motivation I committed to conduct research on tree greening. Trees do not have watches or calendars, but they seem to know when spring arrives better than we do. The timing of seasonal biological events, such as when trees leaf out, flowers open, and leaves turn yellow, is called phenology. Phenology involves incredibly complex processes. And temperature and day length have been identified as critical environmental cues for trees to track time. We see vibrant green leaves of trees emerge when the days get warmer and longer in spring. I study phenology because climate warming has shifted phenology across the whole world having cascading ecosystem effects, such as affecting allergy season, carbon cycling, and plant pollinator matchup. But that's not the whole story. Complex urban environment pose additional challenges for trees. Cities are one to three degree warmer than the nearby countryside a phenomenon known as the urban heat island effect. We have artificial light from advertising billboards, buildings, public street light, and vehicles. These artificial light illuminate the night in cities, shifting the regular day-night cycle that plants rely on. I wonder how these changes in urban environment affect tree greening. To answer this question, I compared the timing of spring green updates in urban versus rural areas in the 85 largest cities in the US using satellite data. I found spring green up occurred six days earlier in urban area compared to rural areas on average. This six day difference was mainly caused by warmer urban temperatures, which was on average 1.3 degree warmer than rural temperatures. In addition, I found that the changes in urban greening was less sensitive to temperature variations. In other words, under climate warming, both urban greening and rural greening shift earlier, but urban greening shifts earlier at a slower rate. Why? 
because of the warmer winter in cities. Urban winter is too warm for trees. The urban trees were not chilled enough in winter, so they were less responsive when days warmed up in spring. As trees start to turn green earlier and the climate warming and the urban warming, the green up days will consequently occur in shorter days because we have short days in winter and long days in summer. And it's unclear whether this shortened day length will slow down the early shift of spring green up. To answer this question, we need to disentangle the effect of temperature and day lengths on phenology. This is very challenging because temperature and day lengths frequently change in similar ways across latitude and day of year. Winters are cold and also have short days and summer days are warm and long. I found the Northern European Alps has very unique topography that can serve as an ideal natural laboratory to answer this question. Across the Alps, elevation decreases as latitude increases. So we get a relatively uniform temperature distribution. At the same time, day lengths do change across latitude. So in this region, I used phenology data from Pan-European Phenological Network and examine the effect of day lengths on spring green up across latitude. I found spring greening showed a significant change across day lengths represented by latitude. And the shortened day lengths slowed down the earlier trend of spring greening and the climate warming. Applying this funding in the context of cities, I wonder whether artificial light serve as extended day lengths and thereby mitigating the day lengths constraint on earlier green up. I used the recently released artificial light satellite product, NASA Black Marble, and the phenology data from USA National Phenology Network I compared phenology with and without artificial light by control temperature. I found the intense artificial light caused earlier spring greening and later autumn leaf coloring. Basically, we have a longer growing season in cities. My research suggests that we expect earlier spring greening and longer growing season in cities going forward. That means plants will absorb more carbon dioxide and improve air quality. That's the good news. But on the other hand, living earlier could subject plants to risk of late spring frost. And early spring greening could also result in a mismatch in the timing for pollinators and a shift in pollen season. So it's really an open question whether the shifting technology is a net gain or loss for ecosystem. Surrounded by buildings and traffic, urban trees have long been neglected as a part of nature. However, the timing of urban tree greening actually opens a window to discovering the environment we live in and our love of nature. So I propose after today's meeting, let's go outside and take a walk. Trees do talk to us if we stop long enough to listen. Thank you Science and the Sign Life Lab for the award. Thanks for my advisor, mentors, and collaborators who have helped me along the way. Thanks to my funding source, Iowa State, NASA, Oak Ridge National Lab, and Berkeley Lab for funding me to do exciting research. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Thank you.